All right, thanks for watching. <clears throat> and today I would like to derive the formula for the plastic numbers. I guess plastic number, because there's just one. And my goal is to show you how freaking hard it is to solve a cubic equation. Because today will be a special solution of a cubic equation, and already that will take us 20 minutes to solve. So just imagine the general case, how crazy it would be. All right, so what is the plastic number? It is defined as the real solution of the equation x cubed equals to x plus one. Turns out there is just one, and follow some of the formula for the cubic equation. And I just wanna remind you, or maybe if it's your first time, I wanna sh uh, also, I guess, remind you um, how similar it is to the Fibonacci numbers or the golden ratio, because the golden ratio is defined to be the positive solution of x squared equals to x plus one. And here the plastic number is the positive solution, I think, of x cubed equals to x plus one. Okay, so how do we do this? First of all, let's put everything on the left-hand side. So x cubed minus x minus one equals to zero. And this is of the form x cubed plus cx plus d equals to zero, where c is minus one and d is also minus one. And the reason I do this is because it turns out there's an explicit formula for the solution of this. And the interesting thing is, for quadratic equations, we use the discriminant. Here, it turns out there are three discriminants to watch out for. So first of all is, I guess, the main one, I guess the principal discriminant, uh, minus four c cubed minus 27 d squared, well, c cubed is minus one, so times minus four, it's four, and minus 27, and that equals to minus 23, which is negative. And just like for negative discriminants, remember for quadratic equations, if the discriminant b squared minus four ac is negative, it means that they are complex solutions. And same here, if this were positive, there would only be real solutions. But because this is negative, there is, well, still one real solution because it's cubic, but two complex ones. So one real and two complex. And the goal is to find a real solution. The plastic number is the solu real solution to this equation. And to find it, we need to calculate some other discriminants. So delta zero, which is minus three C, which becomes three, and delta one, which is 27 D, which is minus 27. And we'll need delta zero and delta one. And then there's some auxiliary number, I like to say, some helper number that helps us uh, find a solution. Namely, c is delta 1 plus or minus square root of minus 27 delta uh, over 2. And worse, you take the cube root of that. I know, where the hell do those come from? I don't know, but I just want to say here, we're lucky that the x squared term is 0, because otherwise this becomes even more complicated. Okay, now let's plug this in. So this gives us negative 27 plus or minus negative square root of negative 27 times negative 23 over two. And you take the cube root of that. And that gives you, so negative 27 plus or minus square root of 621 over two. And you take the cube root of that and luckily I have it on my notes. I definitely did not do that in my head. <laughs> in my head, da, 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 da. anyway. <laughs> okay, let's simplify this a little bit. Fortunately, uh, 621, you can factor this as nine times 69. So the square root of that, it's three times square root of 69. 
So it's minus 27 plus or minus 3 square root of 69 over 2. All right, it turns out because, so notice this is minus 27, either plus or with minus. It turns out, I guess because we want the real solution, we have to take the C that is strictly negative, and it turns out if you put the minus one, you know, the, if you choose the minus, then you do get a strictly negative number. So in this case, C will be neg minus that. So minus 27 plus three square root of 69 over two cube root. And that was our auxiliary function, our helper function. And now, how can we use that to find our x? Well, it turns out we, all we need is love and c and our delta naught. Delta naught, remember, is 3. So now I can actually give you the solution. So x will be minus 1 third times c plus delta naught over c. And it becomes minus one third, in this case, C plus three over C. And here comes the fun part. Let's take C here and plug that in. So this becomes, I guess, let me see what, what happened to it. Oh yeah, because this is negative, the C is negative, everything becomes positive. That's why we had to make sure to take the negative one. Okay, and so it becomes one third 27 plus 3 square root of 69 over 2 to the 1 third plus 3 times 2 over 27 plus 3 square root of 69 to the 1 third. And again, we have square roots on our denominator, so let's just simplify it by the conjugate form to get hopefully a slightly simpler answer. So 2 over 27 plus 3 square root of 69, that becomes, if you want, 2 times 27 minus 3 square root of 69 over 27 squared minus square root of 3 times square root of 69, so 9 times 69, and you simplify this as 2 times 27 minus 3 square root of 69 over, this turns out to be 108, and we get 2 times, if you want, you can factor out 3, 3 times 9 minus square root of 69, over 2 times 3, times 18. And so you just get 9 minus square root of 69 over 18, and then what this then becomes Remember, this was our x, so x becomes 1 over 3 times 27 plus 3 square root of 69 over 2 to the 1 third plus 3 times square root 9 minus square root of 69 over 18 to the one third. Now, for reasons that will become apparent in a second, let's write this as one sixth and try to simplify this. So it becomes one sixth times two times that, but the two, you put it under the cube root, so this becomes two cubed. Two cubed times 27 plus three square root of 69 over two one third, and then plus, and again, this three becomes six. So in that cube root, it becomes six cubed. The nine minus square root of 69 over 18 cube root. And then now let's just simplify it. So I guess the only thing we can say two cubed over two, too cute, okay, now. 2 cubed over 2 becomes 2 squared. And 6 cubed over 18, so 1 factors of 6 cancels out to become 3. So we get 6 squared over 3. 
And again, you can also simplify this. So 6 squared is 36 over 3. That's uh, uh, 12. So after the end, uh, in the end, we left with 1 6 times 4 times that cube root plus 12 times that cube root. And we're left with 1 6 times, let's see, 100, 108 plus 12 square root of 69 to the 1 3rd plus 108 minus 12 square root of 69 to the 1 3rd. Which is a much neater explicit formula for the uh, plastic number. So there you go. And I guess you can also simplify it a little bit by doing, you know, maybe putting the 6 in the cube root to get, I think, something like uh, something plus 1 half square root of 69 and something minus 1 half square root of 69 or something like that. But for our purposes, that's enough. So I think that's nice. So this is what's called the plastic number. And if you're curious, there's another video either that I've done or that I will do where um, I show you what the properties of those plastic numbers are. And surprisingly, they're very similar to the Fibonacci numbers or the golden ratio. So this is really, really cool. All right, I hope you like this little excursion into cubic equations. And if you want to know more math and more fun, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.